It's Brian here for another Rental Tracks how-to video. Very excited to show you our new changes to the tax system. So, uh, you live in an area where you are selling multiple taxes or dealing with, uh, you know, maybe you're shipping into another county and you have to deal with another tax or a lot of areas in Canada have to show split taxes on the paperwork. Uh, before that was not possible. Now it is possible. So. If I want to show you the first step, if you go to your products and go down to your tax classes, let's create a new tax class from scratch. So what I'm going to call here, I'm going to call this the showcase tax. Why not? And the tax rate is going to be 20%. So I put that in as 0 0.20, just like before. Down here in the second spot though, this is where I do an A and a B tax. So I can split it and I can say the first one is 12% of it and the second one is 8% of it. So I'm taking the total of 20%. And dividing it up between the two here. There is no check built into the system to make sure that the math works. So you have to do the work yourself and make sure your numbers work. Okay, so make sure that these two add up to this one. So the bottom ones, A plus B must equal tax, if that makes sense. Um, but that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna set up your new tax class. And when I create a product, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna create a new rental product. Put it in my category like every time. My tax class, we're gonna put in the showcase tax. I'm gonna call this the crazy new tax product. I'm gonna charge $10 for it. We've got 100 in stock. So I'm just creating a new product here, showing off new tax feature. And I'll just do that for now. And we'll save that product. Excellent, save and close. Let's go back to the dashboard and we're gonna put in a new order. I'm gonna select my order type when it pops up here. This is an audio visual order. Put in a customer, so we'll use me as, a, as an example. And I'm just gonna skip down to the bottom here. So I'm going to put in the crazy new tax product. So there it comes in at $10. Obviously this is in our demo system, so it's set to a different currency than US or Canada or whatever. So you, you're, you're gonna see all of that factor in here. So $10 is the price. You can see my tax class here is 20%, so $2 of the 10 is charged to tax. But down here is where it gets exciting. So it's now showing tax A and tax B, and it's calculating for you that tax A might be $1.20 and tax B might be 80 cents based on my math, right? That comes in handy and if you're doing, like in Canada, the example is HST, and you've got to show that it's 13% total for HST, but you split it so that 8% is PST, 5% is GST. So you're going to be able to add that to your layouts. We'll save and close out of this. It's probably going to give me an error. Oh, everything looks great. Um, I was worried about not having somebody listed as responsible. But under your layouts, you're going to make sure that you add your dynamic fields for tax A and tax B, right? And if you need help doing the layout piece under the layout editors, um, we can do that and we can help you out with that as well. Okay, so you might have to add the, the tax piece in here. So go through the list and find tax A and tax B and add it to your system. Simple, so far so good, because we wanna be able to show that, right? The second part that's been added is the ability to change tax on the order. So if I go back into my order here, I can say, well, hold on a second. This tax class is great for this order, but I'm shipping it now. Instead of sending it to Boynton Beach, Florida, I'm gonna send it to Deerfield. Maybe the tax rate changes. So now my tax rates, this will get translated later, are all listed here. So if I change it now to GST, it will automatically update to the 8% tax for that section. It changes it there. I can change it to HST. 13%, you can see it changes along here. So now I'm changing my tax rate based on my area. So it's all changing on the order. And I can add more products to this. Put a package in. There's my light package. And it will automatically choose the tax rate that's assigned here. And I can go ahead and update that as well. You cannot change the tax rate based on per line on the order. So I can't say that the top line, line one, is going to be at 13% and line two is going to be at 20%. It's on the entire order itself. So you have to be aware of that. 
If you do not have a tax a percentage set to tax A and B on your tax class, you can go back and edit that underneath the um, products, then down to tax class as well. So lots more freedom to be able to um, edit your taxes and be able to showcase all of that inside the system. Again, you just come in here. If this is set to 13%, tax A can be 8%, tax B can be 5% and save it. So those are the new tax features. If you have any questions about that, feel free to get a hold of us by emailing us at info at rentaltracks.com. You can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash rentaltracks. Get a hold of us at 888-925-6236. That's 888-925-6236. Or check us out online at www.rentaltracks.com.